Governor Henry Bellman says he just won't quit until Oklahoma gets the Super Collider. Good afternoon at 5 o'clock, mostly sunny skies and 90 degrees in KEBC, Oklahoma City. Governor Henry Bellman says Oklahoma can't just sit back and take it easy now that we have officially submitted our application for the proposed multi-billion dollar federal atom smasher. At his news conference today, the governor unveiled some layouts as to where the super collider would be and how it would be built. He says that state officials will keep on following up on the matter in Washington to make sure that Oklahoma is not forgotten. And things are back to normal this afternoon in Lawton after a pipe bomb and a propane cylinder were found in a briefcase in the Comanche County Courthouse. County Sheriff C.M. Hawkins says they were real lucky to find the bomb. If, if it turns out to be a bomb, uh, we lucked out. Uh, but uh, again, this is a large courthouse and there's no way that uh, the, the whole thing can be searched completely. The briefcase was found on the same floor where a judge was deciding on the mental competency of two convicted murderers to stand trial. Authorities feel that the incident was connected with the hearings. Some new presidential candidates? Maybe. Jesse Jackson and Gary Hart will come out of the shadows next week on ABC television. Jackson says he'll announce whether or not he plans to run in 88 on Good Morning America Monday. And Hart says he wants to put all the rumors to rest, and he will, on Tuesday evening's broadcast of Nightline. There have been more than a dozen confirmed attacks on shipping in the Persian Gulf since last weekend. That's more than in any previous month in the seven-year-old war. Still, the Reagan administration says they're not ready to invoke the War Powers Act yet. They're waiting until Friday to see if Iran will accept the UN's proposed ceasefire. And Matthias Roos profusely apologized today for flying his small plane into Moscow's Red Square. He says that he realizes now that he did threaten lives, although he pleaded with the Soviet court to show a little mercy. After all, he was on a peace mission. He's charged with, among other things, illegally crossing the Soviet border. On Wall Street today, industrials fell nine points as 200 million shares changed hands. And in sports, the Toronto Blue Jays have moved within one half game of first place in the American League by outlasting California 7 to 6 this afternoon. George Bell's two run tie breaking homer at the bottom of the eighth won it for the Jays. And K94 weather for tonight's talking about fair skies with a low of 65. For the next couple of days, expect it to be fair and warm with highs in the low to mid 90s. Currently, mostly sunny skies and an even 90 degrees. On Oklahoma's news leader, K94 FM. <laughs>